guys. Thanks for tuning in for today's video. We got the Scout Rogue. We're going to be doing a video showing you guys what it's like to actually ride with a passenger on this thing with two up riding. So we have the Indian Syndicate seat installed on this thing, as well as the passenger foot pegs that you can see right here. And we're going to be taking my wife out and putting her on the back of this thing, seeing how she likes this. And we've rode around on this thing before, so we kind of know what to expect. But to give you viewers a good indication of what you're getting into if you're looking at this Indian Scout Rogue and potentially looking at two up riding, hopefully this video gives you a good indication of what that looks like. So I'm not going to lie, this is a small to medium sized cruiser and it's not really made for two up riding. So uh, I believe it's more of like a to and from work type thing if you live pretty close to work and uh, it's kind of made for solo riding. But Nonetheless, we'll give you a good indication of what it's like riding with a passenger on this thing. Stay tuned. We're going to dive into this, showing you how to install the syndicate seat. Also, the Indian foot pegs that you can get for this. So you're looking at around $650 bucks if you install all this stuff by yourself and buy it from Indian. So I know there's some other seats out there. They kind of make some uh, seats that will go with the solo seat that comes with this. It's just an add-on piece for the back, but it's still like $250, $300, bucks, and I think it looks kind of... It just doesn't look the greatest. So the syndicate seat on this thing looks amazing, very streamlined, and uh, I think it's a great addition to this bike. But nonetheless, let's jump into this, showing you how to install it, and then we're going to do some ride testing to give you a good indication of what it's like riding with a passenger. Let's get into this. So guys, I skipped ahead a little bit. I went ahead and took the fasteners out of here, but all they are are just little Allen screws. Uh, but these come right off, and you just kind of sit it to the side there. There is some wiring right here, so just be sure you're not pulling too much on this. But then the seat, you can see it just lines right up with the mounting holes for it. And then it also the holes that the side panels and the fender are secured by. So other than that, it fits in there pretty nice. Let's get a better look at this. Yeah, so the seat is retained in the front just by like a little little rubber grommet right there that kind of just slides over this little post right here. Uh, the stock seat actually has these little prongs that kind of go down under the fender there. This one doesn't have it. It just has these little rubber grommets that just kind of sit there and then the frame back here that secures down to the back fender here. I mean, the Syndicate seat's pretty nice. I mean, I think it's gonna be just as comfortable, probably more comfortable than the stock seat. It's made out of the same material, uh, but it has this really beefy metal frame back here. I would say this is almost a quarter of an inch thick steel. So, I mean, it's very solid. So that's gonna be nice and rigid for the passenger. It's gonna be plenty of cushion for the passenger. We're actually gonna do a test ride with my wife on this thing and see how she likes it. Uh, but the seat overall has pretty much the same curvature to it, except the backrest part is a little bit more pronounced and it's kind of more vertical. But other than that, it's pretty nice. I mean, the stapling, securing the, the upholstery down, looks good. Nice solid plastic, has these little rubber pieces right here that way your bike's not rubbing too much but there we go let's get this thing installed all right so what i'm going to do is kind of just make sure we're not going to scratch the fender put that down i'm going to get the front lined up that way i can push it down on that little retaining piece get this thing lined up right get the fender lined up Right, so it comes with these four mounting screws, uh, same pattern, it's the same uh, Allen keys. But we're just going to go ahead and secure this first. We're going to worry about securing the fender last, because we're going to have to have those lined up for the side panels. And guys, I know we skipped ahead, but those side panels are just super easy to take off. The bolts were a little tight when I first got it, so you know during setup, they probably put them on there pretty tight. but. Um, can't complain about that. I mean, more security is better than no security. So we'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, we're just gonna take the Allen wrench, secure these down.
But one thing I like about this seat is I can already notice that it's raised up really nice. I mean, you can tell it's not touching the fender. Hopefully you can tell, but it's not touching the fender. This frame, this frame right here keeps it away from the fender. So it's not going to rub. It's not going to scratch that kind of stuff. So I really like the way the frame is. Plus this thing looks a lot more streamlined. It looks a lot better than that old style pillow top seat that they make for the back of these things. All right, we're just gonna tighten down the hardware. It looks a lot more streamlined. Really like the frame on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and put these side panels back on. What you're gonna have to do Let's take out these little rubber pieces. See that right now, if I can get a hold of it. They kind of just pop out like that and it's one big solid strip. All right, those pop out. And then it's gonna allow the access for these little posts. Go ahead and make sure we don't pinch the wires too much. We got them where they need to be. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put on the left side passenger foot peg. So pretty much, you just locate the two holes here. These line right up with it. And then each side comes with two Allen screws. Just gonna go ahead and put those things in. All right, these do have like a Loctite on them already. So that's gonna help these from not backing out. All right, there we go. All right, nice and solid. Uh, pretty good positive uh, engagement when it's in the up position. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you on the right side of the bike, it's a little bit different. So it is a pretty tight spot. So you're gonna have to locate those two on the swing arm there. To get to that middle one, you're gonna have to actually go through right here from the outside and it goes through the muffler bracket. And you can get to the screw there. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. This one does have the piece that covers where the uh, where the exhaust is. So that's gonna keep your passenger from burning their leg or burning their shoe if they were to slip a little bit uh, from burning it on the exhaust. All right, so we're gonna locate the top one right there. Go ahead and put that one in. I'll probably just slide it in like that. So it is pretty, pretty tight fit. Go slow, you don't want to scratch your, your exhaust guards. Get the bottom one started. It's actually a little bit easier because it's got an opening in that muffler mount. It's making it a lot easier to just tighten this thing straight on. The other one, you kind of have to angle it. it, makes it a little bit harder. So I'm probably gonna have to grab a pair of pliers to tighten this one down from all the way out here. But let's go ahead and get that top one tight. All right, the wife's about to get on. We're about to go out on the road to do a little bit of a test drive with her on the back, testing out this syndicate seat and the passenger foot pegs. All right, here we go.
right, guys. So we're back from the ride, and just a little follow-up here. Uh, as you can tell from the video, there's not a lot of room back there. I mean, my wife is pretty small, so it's it's pretty easy for her. Let's just face it, this is a small bike, so if you got a bigger lady, probably gonna need a bigger bike, let's just face it. But nonetheless, you can have a passenger on this bike, and it can be done. I ride my daughter on the back of this thing a lot, and she loves it. But I think for longer trips and stuff, I would stay away from using the Scout for that. I mean, we went on probably a 20 to 30 minute ride and my wife's back was already starting to uh, feel pretty tight and stuff like that because it's just not comfortable. They kind of have to sit up kind of straight with you and it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So if you're gonna look at potentially riding a passenger and stuff, I would say, you know, obviously go for a bagger or a larger cruiser style motorcycle but for little small trips and just go out joyriding just real quick, the Scout can do it. So that's kind of why I bought it. I wanted to be able to just ride my wife or my kids around on this thing just for fun, just around here on base and stuff. Nothing too, too uh, far of distance, but you know, 650 bucks, you know, it's what it is. And then you're able to do that kind of stuff with this motorcycle. So yeah. Short trips is kind of where the two up riding with this thing kind of shines. I would not do any long distance stuff with this because your passenger is really going to suffer. You're going to be comfortable. The syndicate seat's really comfortable for the, the driver, but the passenger, they're going to be suffering quite a bit. So uh, unless you are into making your passenger suffer, I wouldn't suggest anything probably longer than 30 minute rides with a passenger. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you like these kind of videos. We're going to be doing a lot more videos with this Indian Scout Rogue. It is just an amazing bike. has a lot of different capabilities, and it's just flawless. I mean, this bike is awesome. All right, guys, we'll catch you in future videos. Thanks for watching.